Hello, lovelies. Let me tell you a story. A story of a dramatic herbalist with audio problems. Yeah, the audio for this episode didn't record, so that is a bit of an issue, <laughs> as you might imagine. Um, so, the editing herbalist is here to narrate our story today and um, just give us a bit of an idea of what's going on because I got a lot of good footage without audio that, well, I, I need to, need to have. So, without any further ado, I have fixed my audio problem, so we should not have this in further episodes, but as you can see behind me, I have built another portal. I have made a diamond pickaxe, went and made obsidian, all off camera, and now we have another portal. I am, of course, nervous about going into the nether, but I think that it is about time for us to light her up. It's, uh, it's loud. It's loud and scary. And so the dramatic herbalist made her way into the nether and out of it multiple times. But one must have gold to avoid the piglins. And, well, it was a pretty cool nether, but we also must protect from guests. So, first things first, safety, always. You know me at this point. I am a chicken. But, hey, at least I got into the nether at all. I love shroom lights. I'm so excited. So excited to uh, finally have access to those. And out again. This is our final uh, in and out of the nether. So we will, yeah, just finish building our little protection again from guests. I really don't want to get stuck in the nether. Um, so not sure if I can grab, I can't grab uh, mycelium without silk touch, but yeah, apparently it just completely breaks. So, let's grab some wood and resources and uh, vines. Oh my gosh, let's drop them down into the lava. Okay, there we go. I'll grab some mycelium as soon as possible. But, let's grab some of that quartz up there. Because that's important for redstone. Okay, then. Alright. Love that this stuff breaks so fast. Anyways. Gotcha! Yes! Okay! Here we go. I'm not sure what the best way to find quartz is, if it's just a um, run through the nether and find everything on the surface, or if it's a tunnel around and find it. I don't know. Let me know! And this is the moment in which our herbalist friend realized that uh, time passes when you're in the nether. We had a um, little bit of on-camera work uh -huh. earlier, all of which did not have audio, so that's a problem. But um, my husband went shopping. I cannot go shopping with him. I was sad about that one day, and so I decided to go shopping in Minecraft, which is what you'll see here, followed by well, footage of me trying to catch a zombie. Uh. 
ะห้าString after fighting way too many spiders. Um, yeah, so let's see if we can't get a cool enchantment on this, maybe, because I still have those levels. I like flame, but not that much, so. Burn a pass for now! And the dramatic herbalist set off on a new adventure. Um, she desired greatly to find terracotta for her first build project. Um, thinking that she might find some terracotta around the savanna, she took a little bit of time to explore the surrounding savanna and put out a fire all to save the bees. Her attempts to find the Mesa were in vain, though she set off to explore in many, many places. One must always explore a shipwreck, but when one is as purple-haired and scared as the dramatic herbalist, one might not always be successful.
Yeah, I'm gonna no bomb now. Bye, shipwreck. The herbalist continued to have very little luck until the moment that she saw a new sight. She not from the night. Oh, a snowy village. Oh gosh, and the lag, the lag is going to kill me one day. Um, she killed the spiders. Then she went out to explore the village. I've never really been in a snowy biome yet. Uh, huh? Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. I love it. So I am originally from a fairly northern climate. Um, and it's just absolutely my favorite thing. This reminds me so much of home. And I just, I can't. It's so beautiful. You gonna give me anything? Uh, okay, bye. She picked up some ice with her fancy dancy new silk touch pick and tried some things that didn't necessarily go as well. But then she had one of the most beautiful and peaceful moments that she had had in her entire life. I just can't get over how gorgeous it is. And yeah, we found a wandering trader. Didn't have any emeralds and definitely forgot to grab leads from the llamas. Look at me go. Yay me. But I gathered some snow and some other fun things from the chests in the village. sunset I've seen. And then she was on her way again. Not much happened. She found the most beautiful little baby horse. I didn't know that they came as babies. And they're really cute. She found a village that defied physics. She talked to the locals. Rested for a night. And gathered some spruce, some berries, tried to tame a wolf. Didn't go too well. Disappointment. And then she got lost. She found a pillager outpost. Not once though, but twice. Yeah, it's the same one. I'm just really bad with directions in Minecraft. And then a familiar sight finally greeted her eyes. I know where I am now. Everything is okay. Having found pumpkins on her travels, she planted some. I'm excited to be able to finally do some trades with that villager who now give who now trades for pumpkins. I like pumpkins. But I have had a plan since I can't build a house with terracotta right now apparently. I am going to make guess what? A kelp farm. I'm very excited. It's going to be redstoned and everything. I'm going to build it right here. So it's close to the iron farm that I tried to build that I will show later. But we're going to roll some footage along with a piece of music that has a special spot in my heart. I played it um, in an orchestra. So, yeah. <laughs>
aromatic herbalist. I have indeed forgotten, you know, the most important component of making a kelp farm. The kelp. So I'm going to run back and grab that real quick, and we'll be back in just a second and to finish our time lapse. kelp farm to grow, I wanted to show you guys my iron farm. It doesn't work. That's the issue. I, I spent hours wrangling these villagers, wrangling the zombie. I don't know what the issue is. I never, I didn't follow a tutorial. I read about all the different mechanics and whatnot and just like put them together. But like, my villagers are within 10 spaces of each other. The zombie is there. Um, I think the iron golems are supposed to be able to spawn in one deep water, but I also did leave a dry space for them to spawn. But yeah, I don't know what's going on here. They're just not generating the golems. There are no golems above ground either, and I don't know how to like, uh, set that out better but as you can see i have well i think it should be a very functional setup the only problem is that we're not getting iron gold spawned here so if anybody has any ideas as to like what i've done wrong please tell me in the comments i would love to learn um i thought i did a really great job with it and uh well <laughs> Apparently not so much. Alright, so I have spent a long time, a long time, waiting for the kelp to grow, and uh, it didn't trigger the observers, or the redstone or something. I think I might need to put some repeaters in there. Um, if anyone has any ideas on that, please also let me know. Um, I really want to, like, be able to make farms, but, uh, anyways, well, we're getting close to the end of this episode. I had something special that I found while strip mining, um, that I wanted to show you guys. And, yeah, you can see it here a little bit. It's a geode, and I'm very excited. Alright, let's go break into one of the most beautiful things in Minecraft. Oh my gosh. I can't. The sound is so beautiful. I love it so much. Mojang did great with this one. Yeah. I just... It's so beautiful. I love all the different sounds. So you can't break the uh, ones with cracks in them, but because those grow the shards. Anyways, thanks for coming along today. It's been a bit of an awkward ride with not having sound. So thank you for putting up for that or with that. I I think that uh, it still turned out pretty decent. So we did a lot of things today. I will not be uploading next week, which I believe is October 9th. The, the Sunday upload is working really great for me, I think. So, I'm going to be traveling. I thought about, uh, you know, giving myself the, like, leeway to maybe upload something, but now I'm just going to enjoy my travel, enjoy my friend. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you after that. Again, if you have any suggestions on both the Iron Farm and the Kelp Farm, you know, I will be playing around with them a bit, but yeah, I don't know what to do with that, so I'm not great at minecrafting, but some of you guys might be, so let me know, um, and I am excited to hear from you guys. Alright, we will see you in two weeks. Bye!